How's it going everyone? Grim here and this is a follow-on video to a video I made earlier about tips and tricks for an alternative to the Arcs of Omen boarding actions terrain set. So as you can see I have here the box that the magnetiles came in and if you open it up you can kind of see this is it. This is my terrain set. In this thin little box, right? I have here some 3D printed flooring and these are all the tiles that I need to make any Arcs of Omen map. So let's go ahead and look at a map that we might want to make. So this is the uh, map called Jailbreak and it's from the Angron book. So we can kind of look at this and we say, okay, Cool, let's see if we can make this map using my alternative terrain set. And here it is everyone, the finished product. This is the jailbreak map from the Arcs of Omen Angron book. And as I showed you earlier, here's the map itself. You can see I've recreated it using the Picasso magnetiles as a terrain alternative, right? So you have these regular walls that I just really all I did was I took the windows from the Picasso tile magnet tile set and glued them on the walls to make it a little more give it a little bit more dimension and as you can see these are great for turning into stained glass if you wanted to you can paint these up to look like stained glass I obviously did not but I think that'd be awesome if you did because as we know the Warhammer 40k universe is really uh, big on religious iconography right with the whole god emperor thing so making that stained glass i think would make sense and then all these walls you can also put all kinds of stuff to make it more uh, three-dimensional you know you can take straws cut up straws and glue them on to look like pipes um all kinds of things right doors so if you recall one of the sets you had to buy, in my previous video I said one of the sets you have to buy is the window set, the Picasso tile window set. And really what it was is was a bunch of these 3x3 three three tiles, but the centers popped out so it just ended up being a 3x3 three three frame, which is just this part right here. And then I 3D printed this inner area and the door, right? And so... It's real simple that's how you make a door it's not as nice as the terrain set doors because those are more like bulkhead doors and they look really cool if you've actually ever seen them up close the way they open up uh, but at least this serves the purpose now if you don't have a 3d printer you can make these doors out of you know uh, cardboard foam whatever whatever you have available but it serves its purpose right so if we look at the map again we see this area it's supposed to have three doors a door here a door here a door here and it has three doors real simple all right so it's really uh, easy to make the doors for where you need the doors to be and then make the walls for you need where you need the walls to be and a little bit of uh, inventive ingenuity you can make it three-dimensional and look really really good if you wanted to as you can see I kind of all I did was this is just a little pieces of plastic that kind of just put on there, right? And I just made it look like giant air vents. But you can do whatever you want. A downside is that I made too many door tiles and not enough actual wall tiles. So this particular map, I didn't have enough wall tiles. As you can see here, this room. We look at the map the room is supposed to be just an enclosed two by two room with one door in and out I didn't have enough wall tiles so this is a wall tile this is a wall tile but these are all door tiles because I didn't have enough wall tiles <laughs> so here's the one door that's supposed to actually go in and out for what you're using it in, and then I didn't have enough door tile uh, enough wall tiles so I used these door tiles to make the walls another downside to doing this is if you look here right you see this four tile wall on the map it's supposed to just be a four tile wall one of them's a door 
well two of them one on each side is the doors and then this little green line is supposed to represent scatter which I do not have here but this will not stand up on its own so I had to kind of see bend it just to get it to stand up and that's a downside for these magnet tiles I got to figure out a way uh, to make these be able to stand up on their own I think maybe if I um since this is all magnet here I can just easily make something that I can magnetize on there is kind of like legs to stick it out and that will make it be able to stand up on its own but the regular you know the regular corridors and rooms they all since they're all kind of ang they have these right angles they'll be able to stand up no problem on their own it's just these single line walls in the actual terrain set they take care of this by having these end caps and these walls are supposed to have these like these fatter columns that kind of just go right there and that's what helps them stand up obviously I don't have that here but I can make it with my 3d printer and I will and you can make it with you know foam or whatever else if you don't have a 3d printer and just put some magnets in it so that it magnetizes to this so you can put that anywhere you want or anywhere you need in terms of having structural integrity right this one here this is actually supposed to just be a two tile wall this tile is not part of the map uh, but I need to put it on there just to keep it to stand up uh, same problem right that I was just saying but otherwise right I think this is a pretty adequate facsimile it's a lot cheaper than buying the actual terrain set if you don't want to spend the 200 plus on the terrain set this total package here um, I forget how much it was total but I think it was under 100 bucks uh, and then I have lots of leftover tiles that are a bigger size in fact I have uh, some giant really giant tiles that um, like these I have two by two tiles that came with the set and I could use that two by two tile as like a floor and have this whole room magnetized to that floor to keep it stable right this this uh, map itself is just 3d printed so as you can see there's a it's a 12 by 7 map because all the arcs of omen boarding action maps are 12 by 7 squares uh, and actually it's actually um you know two uh, kill team maps that are supposed to, that are 6 by 7 right but you put them side by side so it's 12 by 7 and all I did was 3D print these. You obviously don't need to do that. You can use paper. You can. You don't have to use anything at all if you don't want to. Um, but I made this map so that it's, it's actually in pieces. You can kind of see they're in pieces so that it would fit into that white box I showed you earlier. And all of this goes into that nice thin white box with room to spare for a lot of scatter um, and a lot of extra tiles if you want to get extra tiles later on up to you. But basically the main set and the windows set that I bought for the Picasso magnetiles were more than enough to make the Arcs of Omen uh, boarding action maps minus the fact that I made too many doors don't make as many doors as I did turn them into walls instead but there you go that's what it looks like again thank you so much for joining me and uh, I appreciate you guys appreciate you guys watching if you have any comments please leave them if you have any uh, questions about how I did this leave it in the comment area if you want to uh, tell me hey you know I think it'd be better if you did this or that by all means let everybody know in the comment section the more we share information the more the more everybody else benefits from it otherwise thank you very much for your time I appreciate it and I hope to see you later. Grim out.